going? What, you think you're going bye-bye on my four-wheeler? Where's your helmet? <laughs> it's over there. I'll help you down.
just wanted to give a little update on Trinity Dairy Beef Division. You saw in the last video Astrid calved. She had a little bull calf we named Slippers. But unfortunately we did have a little setback with Bessie. Uh, at 11 days old we ended up losing Effie. We worked really hard with the vet. We tried everything we could to save her but the vet thinks that there might have been something just genetically wrong with mm -hmm. Effie. So after Effie died, we were kind of left with a problem of what do we do for Bessie? So we ended up coming up with a solution with Alan's cousin, Jared. They own Hidden Ponds Ranch. You should check them out on Facebook. They had a little heifer calf that the mom didn't want anything to do with it. So we thought, you know what? Let's try calf adoption. And we, you know, like I said, this is new to us. So we went off Alan's cousin's expertise on this one and they could not believe how fast Bessie took to this new little heifer calf. And so we've had them just in that little barn there for a few days. And then today now we went and kind of fenced in the corral to make it beef calf proof, we hope. And so now Bessie and Bop are out here today. So this was definitely a win for us, and it was a win for Alan's cousin Jared and his wife Sarah. So we're kind of thinking we're going to end up buying Bop. So then our beef herd will actually have a full-fledged beef cow in there. And we're thinking that by the time Bop's old enough to be weaned, she'll probably be bigger than Bessie. <laughs> but it was definitely making the best out of a bad situation. I'm gonna do some more chopping here. We uh, chopped till dark last night. And then, well, we didn't chop all day. Chopped in the afternoon once Paul got here. I finished cutting that state land earlier in the day and then we chopped. Um, and then today I chopped three loads. Got that done and got them unloaded. And then um, we had a, on the 1256 there, I had a rear tire, the tube was leaking fluid, so. Um, had the tire guy come out and got that taken care of so we're gonna come back out now and chop I just got this is the field right by home there's just a little section here a few little short rows um, I'll get them cleaned up and then we'll head up to that state land they're talking pretty good chance of rain again on Sunday and actually a few days next week so um, that'll be nice so I want to get this get this stuff in the bag and then um, I got some fertilizer coming tomorrow also to top dress the corn uh, so hopefully we can get that on. I do have that little patch down below uh, that we tried that old seed on. I've got some spray for that too. That was conventional corn. I haven't sprayed it yet but I need to run down there and see if how much is even growing um, but I'll show you guys that later. Anyway another thing I was gonna bring up because I'm sure I'll probably get a bunch of comments on it um, on these two badger chopper boxes we got you can see how the the tin is slid back um, so it's not covering all the way to the front and it hangs over um, I know I've, I've been asked about that before in some of our videos from last year uh, the reason that's like that uh, my grandpa used to do a lot of high moisture ear corn and um, so we had a grinder attachment that went right on the picker the old picker we had so in order for the auger to reach up into the wagon the roof had to be slid back uh, and he did that for 
quite a number of years when he milked cows well anyway with it being slid back like that it got loose and the tin got beat up and cut off and different stuff so now there's not enough the tin's not long enough that it would cover to slide it forward so i need to get new tin on these but um one of them things i guess that hasn't been on the top of the list i know somebody had mentioned that the floor is going to rot out where that roof is slid back but um we oil these pretty well use the oil the bed chains and stuff so that floor is pretty well treated um and then you get with the front of the wagon being open you get a lot of moisture in there regardless unless you've got them in a shed so um but anyway that's one thing that is on the list but that's why they're the roofs are funky on them so thought i'd cover that before answer some of the comments anyway so we're going to finish this little patch up and then head up to the other land there and i probably won't finish that tonight uh there's a lot of driving up there but um tomorrow hopefully anyway so we'll get some get some chopping done welcome back to the channel it is saturday june 26th today uh, i was just up trying to finish them oats and peas up on that state land uh, i had a couple loads left and the chopping along we got one chopped maybe half another load and ran picked up something out there and ran through the chopper and it uh, did a heck of a number on some of the knives bent this one right around it it took three of them loose or slid them back um, it bent this one on both ends, took a chunk out of this one. Um, there's a couple other ones that got a couple of little nicks in them, but they look straight yet. So, I don't know what it was. Um, I opened this, I was chopping along, and I heard a little, sounded like it maybe picked up a little tiny rock. You can hear a little tick. And then all of a sudden, it just, uh, just wham, and it started shaking, and... So I shut the feed off and uh, the feeder house off and shut the chopper down. I came back here and I looked in here and it was pretty much just like it is. There was, I found two little pieces of the steel from the knife. This big piece I never did find. Um, so I don't know, no idea what it was. Um, that field was rolled. It's not very rocky, especially the place where I'm at, about in the middle. It's actually pretty pretty loamy ground. Um, it wasn't raked, so the rake didn't pick up anything. So either, and I the, the hay bind, I didn't notice anything wrong, missing, or anything off the hay bind that would have caused that kind of damage. But uh, like I said, it could have picked up a rock, I guess, or I have no idea. Like I said, there was nothing left in here. But... Um, and it is public land. I suppose somebody could have been out there and left something laying in the windrow, but I don't know that that was the case either. But 
So anyway, what we're going to do, I've got to do some measuring. I've got a 782 kind of a parts chopper. This is a 790, um, but I think the knives are the same. So we're going to do some measuring and see if I can rob some knives off of there and uh, get them in here and see if we can get this back in action and get finished. Them oats are getting getting pretty dry now, but there isn't too much left. But um, I think they'll uh, be all right. That uh, And then that load that we chopped in where this broke, I had Paul, I didn't want to run that in the bag with all the metal or whatever's in there. I know there's pieces of knife in there and whatever I hit. So he just took that out into the weeds and dumped it so the cattle can't get at it because you don't want them eating that. But anyway, we're going to see if we can rip this apart here and see what we need. I'll probably pull the feed rollers out too and see if it damaged the cutter bar at all. I kind of looked in there from the top and it looked all right, but um, see what happens. That's what I had thought at first. Maybe that came loose, but it doesn't look like it, so... We'll get digging here and see what happens. I don't know if my impact will take these off or if we're going to have to break them loose first. I guess they already got broke loose. <laughs> oh, yeah, these come off that gale I had. They were like 300 foot pounds or something. <laughs> have trouble with because that's bent. That bolt. Wow. Holy cow. That's a hard hit. Man, I just wish I knew what the heck that was. That takes some power. Or something, not power, but something hard. Yeah. <laughs> I have a hard time believing it was a rock, but to find something to do that kind of damage and not have any remnants of it in here. All right, well, I think we've come up with a plan. Um, we went and checked out that 782. Those knives are good. Those actually have a double-edged knife in them so you can um, flip them. So they're sharp on both sides. These have been flipped, so this side here is is pretty worn but this side is good yet it's got quite a bit of edge on it um so i think what we're going to do is just replace all of them because being those are a double-edged knife and the ones in the 790 are just a single edge um i think if we just put in those three knives it's going to throw the balance off so then you would have to balance it by staggering the new knives so you're gonna have to pull most of these off anyway so um i think we're just gonna do that the only snag i kind of ran into is the 790 has these air baffles in it behind the knife and the 782 does not so the difference is these are the bolts from the 782 and these are the bolts from the 790 and um the ones that have the air baffle are a longer bolt but seeing as how some of these bolts were bent and i'm sure they were all stressed from whatever went through there i don't want to use them so we're going to put them in without the baffle and uh see see what happens um i talked to new holland and that guy said um he didn't know too much about it. He didn't think it would hurt anything. He recommended having them in there, the baffles, but he thought in a pinch he didn't think it would hurt anything not having them in there. I don't really know what their purpose is other than to build more wind, but you don't really need a lot of wind here just to kick it back into this auger. I know they made them for the 
the old cut and throw like 717s to get more wind because they needed it to blow it up the spout but so anyway that's the plan i don't know if it's a good idea or not but we're going to give it a try so we can get this finished um but luckily those seem to be i think they're the same um we put them on here the curve is the same the uh bolt pattern everything all that's the same same width so i think that'll be fine but anyway paul went to start pulling them off of there now and i'm going to start ripping these off so we can get them swapped out all right well it's about i don't even know what time it is it's getting dark 904 um i got the that other set of knives in the chopper off that 782 i don't have them set yet i just got them in there and kind of snugged up I uh, pulled the cutter bar out and flipped that around to the good side because it was kind of worn. Um, but for right now, they're talking rain tonight and tomorrow. So the little bit of oats and peas that was left up there, I just had Paul. He ran up with the 830 case and that little international baler, brown baler, and bailed them up because they were, they're not dry enough to keep. We're going to wrap them, but there was only six bales. So I'll probably stick a couple out for the cows and I'll just throw a little wrap on the rest. Um, they'd maybe be all right because I'll feed them up right away, but better to wrap them and be safe than have them turn into mold and stuff. So um, so anyway, what we're gonna do now, he got them bailed up. So I'm gonna just take a break from the working on the chopper here now, buzz a skid loader up there and um, load them up and get those wrapped. Um, I would buzz a tractor up there, but that 530, case um i got some issues with the steering i need to find a steering cylinder for it and the 830 case with the loader is um well you can see the back of the cab just there behind the bag the backstop on the bag started lifting up so we had to chain it down so i've got it chained to that so that's kind of stuck there for now so i am going to take the skid steer up and we'll load them up and get them wrapped on it so when you start the next bale it automatically cuts the wrap but it uh i don't know i was having issues with it cutting so it's just easier to have jen or one of the kids just cut it when we do the next one but half the time it would cut it half the time you had to get off and cut it anyway so this seems to work just as good 